News, Henry Cavill is reportedly accepting a secret role in the mm-hmm. upcoming project from Marvel Studios. So, uh, all right, predictions. Okay, so just FYI, I actually I actually put some of these uh, these fan theories up here. <laughs> um, so obviously we got a uh, Captain Britain on the left. We got a. Uh, this is uh, this is not not Century. This is uh, what's what's his name? Hyperion. Hyperion. Thank you, Hyperion. Oh, what is this? Hyper- no, wait. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah, Century, and then oh, Doctor Doom. God, the Century is funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I keep seeing uh, Captain Britain. Uh, yeah, that's... I think Cap- Captain Britain's like the big one that everyone's thinking yeah, it's going right. to be, or it's rumored that it's going to be. Well, didn't um, didn't uh. Didn't Henry Cavill like say publicly he wanted to play Captain Britain? I feel like yeah. that was the thing that he said he wanted that role. But yeah. my thing is like, to me, I'm sitting here like the timing to me almost feels like he's Doctor Doom because they just announced the Fantastic Four casting, and we we mentioned that they haven't locked in anybody for Doctor Doom. They had names in the ring, and I'm like, Wait. I'm like maybe they at the last minute said, oh, we could get Henry Cavill. Maybe like I don't like him as Doom personally because I've told you guys this before. Like I don't really see how you get a guy like Henry Cavill and then you put a mask on him for most of a movie. It kind of is stupid because he's. I feel like he wouldn't want to wear a mask the entire fucking movie either. You know what I mean? So like to me, one of these makes more sense because these guys don't wear masks and Doctor Doom does. And plus, like, I, not that I not to say Henry Cavill couldn't play a great villain because I think he would because he's just a good actor. But I just think any of these other roles kind of fits him better. I mean. I don't, that's well, just my just my thoughts. I, I, well, I, 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 uh, I was gonna say, wasn't there a, a part with Hyperion where he went bad for a while? Like, isn't that the whole Squadron Supreme thing where like they yes. had to fight him? Like, and I was I was talking to Aaron about this earlier, and I think it would be hysterical. Like, have him as Hyperion, and then like get like I don't know Gal Gadot and you know all those all those peoples, and make them play Squad Squadron Supreme for a movie, and just like say f you to DC. I think it'd be funny as hell. <laughs> Get the, except I, I Ezra think, Miller, go fuck yourself. Nah, you mean? Uh, I think that Captain Britain is, is an excellent choice for him. Um, mm-hmm. it, it puts him Captain of Britain, Captain, Captain Britain, Captain America, similar guys, slightly different uniforms, same kind of you know, Vibe. captain thing yeah. going on. Um, and I, I think that I think that works. Is is Cap is Captain Britain a big enough character? Or the Marvel Cinematic Universe to I, give it to, think, to Mr. Henry Cavill. I think that Captain it. Britain is um, unknown enough, yeah. but familiar enough because we already have Captain America for him to potentially become a big character, even if he's not right now. Fair. A few moments later. <laughs> Fatal J, what's going on? Cavill don't need to be Captain Britain. Scott Summers. <laughs> really? That's really? not a bad. That's not bad, actually. Really? Really? Hmm. Wow. Like, not I'm the way. So but the thing is, uh, Fatal J. The thing, uh, the the way that I think that um, X Men ninety seven is gonna go, you guys are gonna, are gonna be in for a real good treat if they go that way. What Henry Cavill in X Men? Are you saying yeah. or what? Uh, actually, actually, no, X Men. You're saying uh, X Men ninety seven. Oh. Uh, yeah, Bro, I, I think that would be a, I think that would be a, a waste of Henry Cavill to, to make him Scott Summers. Bro. I don't but know. he's te- but he's technically the leader of the X Men. Yeah, we but haven't seen it that way. But Scott, I get what you're saying. Which Scott X-Men? Cops is is not the most <laughs> popular X Men, bro. He's never really been the most popular X Men, and no. you know, for all intents and purposes, story wise, he always loses to Wolverine when it comes to Jean Grey. Um, so I just, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, also, you, you also, you fellas are killing the reaction game. <laughs> Keep going. You guys have my full support. <laughs> Yo, thanks, we, man. We appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Having fun with these, uh, uh, these reactions. Think of, think of Cavill as the leader of the new X Men. I could see it, but I think it might be like it depends on where they. Go I mean, that is X-Men. how you, that is how you yeah. keep them for a little while too. I mean, it's not yeah, like- but I need I need to know how I need to know what like to Leo's point. What version of X Men are we getting live action in the MCU? Then that would determine how I would feel about it because yeah. there's so many different versions you could go. The one that they were talking problem, about bringing it. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Jim. No, I was just saying. I think my problem is you know Cyclops really kind of a one horse one trick pony. You know, it's like like. Henry Cavill can just do so much more, bro. He, he like, can. I'm just like, you know, he spends the whole movie like, 
bit, 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 like yeah, I don't, pretty know. Much. I don't know. Because I, I, I think know. if if I remember correctly, the version that they were talking about doing of X Men, Scott wasn't the leader. I think it was like Kitty Pride or some shit like that. Yeah. So like yeah. so like if if that's what they were gonna do, then why would you why yeah. would you bother? Henry there was Cavill that. Is... There was that. What was that recent run of of X Men where it was it was like Kitty Pride, Iceman, As- Arc Angel. I, I don't remember the is run. It aston- is it astonishing? Is it astonishing? Yeah, that might astonishing be astonishing X Men. I think it might be if I'm thinking about it correctly. Uh, but think about it: MCU C list character with an A uh, an A list with Tony Stark. It's yeah. true, dude. Dude, yeah. no one was talking. To, like the Avengers were just like a like a fun comic book thing where they just put heroes together, right? Like it was never. Yeah. As big as it really was, like compared to like a X Men or like a you know that type nah, of thing, right? Like uh, Avenger, Avengers, yeah. always been big. Yeah, Avengers always been big. Yeah, Avengers, yeah. yeah. Avengers older than the fucking X Men. Yeah, a- Avengers has always been a big title. Um, yeah, so that's I mean, why that's why the MCU went with the fucking Avengers. Because yeah, it's over. it's one the of the biggest. It's, the yeah, it's the most. Rec- it's most. It has the, the 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 elite of the of supposedly the elite of the Marvel. Yeah, yeah. the names in there is like, because you because you got to remember, um, like you, you're saying C list character with with A list Tony Starks, but you guys you got to remember something. Uh, back in the seventies, they made a little thing called Underoos, and um, they paired it with Marvel, and one of them the 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 top sellers was Spider Man and Iron Man. So mm-hmm. go Google Underoos, and you'll see like Spider Man, Iron Man, and the Hulk were like the three top uh sellers for that thing for kids so you also Iron guys, Man, you guys are also forgetting you might get avengers versus x-men see now that is something i could get behind that's not gonna lie to you. that like, that would be yeah. very interesting if they decided it's more to do interesting I agree than you. anything that's, i've heard like, that's yeah. a three billion dollar movie bro mm-hmm.